Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Monday, May 10th, 2010. Well, folks, here we sit after an ugly Thursday and Friday, the markets rebounding impressively upwards of 3 to 4% across the board. Now, why? Basically, you have a Europe bailout going on right now, $1 trillion bailout to stop any spread of Greece's problems and you know backstop Greece and everything that's going on there. The markets again overnight, the futures soared as high as 50 plus points on the S&P. Right now, the S&P is up about 40 points on the day or 3.5%, while the NASDAQ is up about 4% or 89 points. Dow is up about 337 points or three and a quarter percent. Now, bottom line is this, folks. We all knew this was coming. I mean, if you talk about what I said in the nightly video on Friday, I said, listen, there's got to be assumption here made that you're going to see some positive statements coming out of Europe over the weekend, maybe even a plan. They're not going to let this market have a Black Monday or Bloody Monday, if you will, in regards to what was going to happen today. So sure enough, they came out, and not only did they come out with some harsh words to support the market, but they came out with big action here. Now, in the scheme of things, does it really matter. Bottom line is no, it's not going to improve growth. It's not going to do this. It's not going to do that. What it is doing is throwing money at the problem, which is exactly what the U.S. did with the banking system. And that's really what you're seeing here. So in the short run, will it help? Yes, it's going to give confidence back to the markets. It's going to get the amateurs to go back in the market on the long side. We can ride the market up a little bit here in the initial stages of this announcement. However, I want to caution you right now, you want to be a little careful in the overall view of things going out a little further than just a couple days. In fact, what I'm seeing out just more than a couple days is markets may start to weaken just a little bit over the next few days after we get an initial run here. And again, you're looking at an up possible day today or highly likelihood of an ending up today, even possibly a little follow through in the coming days, maybe a pause day tomorrow. But overall, be a little careful. This market is not out of the woods by any stretch. I mean, just because you're throwing money at the problem, you know, yes, short term, it may help a little bit or at least give the confidence back to the market, but it does not solve the underlying problem. And again, you have no growth, you have major problems, you have lack of confidence in these issues and a lot of what's going on in Europe. And overall, you're just devaluing currencies. I mean, basically, that's what's going on here. If you devalue currencies, what happens? People rush to assets that return higher, like stocks. So stocks are big assets here. People are running into stocks today. We're seeing big gains across the board. Although you have to say, and look at this market right now, folks, you are seeing this market starting to downtick just a little bit. Now, again, we're still up huge on the day. Basically, you're up at 115. We closed at 111. Just over 111. So you're just up underneath four points on the SPY. As I mentioned, that's about three plus percent across the board on the indexes, which is a sizable gain. Notice how the 200 moving average today got tagged. And that 200 moving average, a really nice little play today. In fact, in the chat room today, intraday stock chat, we nailed that play for a 40 cent scalp. That's correct. 40 cent scalp on the SPY by shorting it at 116.35, 116.40. It came all the way back below 115 or 116 there. And we were able to capture some big, big time profits. And again, if you're in the intraday stock chat, you made money pretty much in one way or another. Either some people took SDS, some people took EDZ, some people took the SPY. There were so many different ways to play that that I called out in the intraday stock chat that, again, everyone had something to play out there and made some good, good cash today on that play. Since then, you've basically been able, in, unable to get through the 200 moving average. As you can see, market continues just to kind of chop around here. You started to inch down just a little bit here, but this is a little bit of support. You can see this green trend line at about 115.25. And again, if we inch down a little bit more, we'll watch to see if you can start to come into this 50 moving average. A move to the 50 moving average to me will be a buying opportunity in today market for our good solid long scalp. And again, we'll watch to see, do we want to look to the long side? Do we want to look to the short side? What angles of this market? In other words, I'm looking at all angles as possible trades levels. I had a long going into today and I had a remainder of my shorts going back from a multi-week period where I was holding, making a ton of money on the short calls that we were making here. And again, last week I unloaded EEZ, SDS, and a bunch of other things on the short side. I kept a little bit of one position just as a security blanket. And again, that's the key. I'm going to hold that as a security blanket while I play th some things on the long side in the short term here, like AKS. AKS was one of my plays on the long side, up about 50 cents on the day. Other plays that we talked about or were on the ProTrader watch list were STP. Look at this thing, up a dollar and change today. Was as high as $12 and change, but nonetheless, look at that move there. CSUN was another nice one. And again, a lot of these solars rebounding today. Why? Because the euro is falling. A lot of them have a lot of exposure to the euro, and as the euro declines, that it puts a lot of pressure on these stocks across the board. So let's keep an eye on them as well, but a lot of them are having good, solid rebounds today. We'll continue to follow them very, very closely. Another stock I talked about and liked was BLK. BLK going as high as 181 and change today. Right now, it's still up about $3.5. We'll continue to watch that one, as that's a one that I have liked 
ever since it really came into the monthly and weekly key levels here. If you look at the monthly chart, necktie right there, pierced it, bounced. All right, that's your monthly chart. Weekly, here it is, pierced the 200, getting a bounce. And again, you can see these different levels. And even a daily level, there's a key level there. But obviously, on the intraday, it has come off the highs, as the market has come off the highs as well, but still up very sizably on the day. Other stocks to look at. Goldman Sachs, guys. Goldman Sachs is a unique stock, and I'm pointing this out today for a reason. Of my watch list, where I have Baidu, Google, Apple, RIM, Amazon, JPM, Goldman, Chevron, Exxon, Goldman Sachs is the only one here that is negative on the day, down $1.65. You have to look at that and say that there's something to this right now. Be watchful of this stock, all right? Oftentimes, it can be a little bit of a leading indicator. We saw where the market, before the market even rolled over last week, what stock was getting punished? The answer to that, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, again, remember, once they had to go before the committee, the Senate on uh, Capitol Hill, when all this stuff broke, that was really the initial crack in the ice or the glass that we saw in the markets. And sure enough, the fact that this is down needs us to be on a little bit of a caution going forward, even though I do think this market may be able to be held up for a couple days in the near future before possibly seeing any sort of action. Now, now, again, I just want to remind you guys, the email and text message alerts are now live in the Research Center. And again, that's in the Research Center. If we put out anything, in fact, we did a Pro Trader watch list. We took off some plays from the Pro Trader watch list. I had USO on the long side here. That gapped up. As soon as it gapped up, I said, yoink, we're pulling that off. And then in addition, we also had some other plays like Hewlett Packard, HPQ, up huge today on the day. And after being added on Friday, we knew that thing was had a high probability of a bounce. And take a look here. Why? Because right here, look at where we closed on Friday, look at where this pivot low is, look at the bounce today. And again, we took it off beautifully at the highs of the day, essentially, before it came back in a little bit here. Still up about $2 and change, though, a beautiful move. All right, so that's just giving you a sense. And again, the email text message alert went out immediately. You get it immediately on your phone or in your email account. You know that there's been a change. You can log into the account, get the action, do whatever you have to do. And again, Hot Charts and Alerts gets those, Hidden Gems gets those. And again, as we debut new services, they'll be added to that as well. So you can come join and get those alerts. Very, very important. Important. It should maximize profits for everyone, and that's the key bottom line. I mean, yeah, everyone's making profits, and this is great, but we want to maximize. We want to get more profits out of the market. We want to have our money tree and make more fruit on it and continue to pay us off. So, in other words, go sign up for the Research Center or the chat room and continued good trading in the chat room today with some decent volatility. We will talk to you guys very soon. Again, nightly video will be out around 6, 6.30 in the Research Center as well, and you guys can all view that. I'm going to give new plays to go long or short in that video, so be ready, folks. Talk to you then. Take care.